Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about a neural network with the model predictive control of PMSM that means permanent magnetic synchronous motor. So this is a simulink model for neural network with the model predictive control of PMSM. This model consists of the DC voltage source and then three phase inverter. The three phase inverter will be connected with the, the permanent magnet synchronous machine and this PMSM receiving the torque input here. So from that PMSM we are measuring the different parameter. So here we are measuring the, the rotor angle in radian. So that going to be converted into electrical radian. So by using conversion of uh, mechanical to electrical uh, radian concept. And here we are measuring the, the stator current in phase A, B and C and then here we are converting that uh, phase uh, that means stator current A, B, C in the uh, DP naught form okay, by using a transform power transformation and here we are measuring the rotor speed in radian per second so that going to be converted into the per unit value. And same way here you can see that here we are measuring the, the electromagnetic torque okay and then here we are measuring once again rotor angle that going to be converted into electrical uh, degree okay and then here you can see that uh, here we are applying that neural network controller right so neural network controller receive two inputs one is the error input error nothing but there that they mean that they mean difference between and the reference speed and the, the actual speed of the PMSM and also it receiving the another input nothing but the, the reference speed command okay so neural network will be receiving these two input the error speed and the reference speed and then based upon that it will be generate the IQ reference so here we are using field oriented control so here we are making ID reference equal to zero and then uh, we are taking uh, output of uh, nn will be considered as IQ reference and here we are measuring the the actual id and iq from this data current abc okay and then it will be processed via model predictive controller okay so here you can see that this is a model predictive controller so here we are going to consider that here we need to provide the detail of uh, uh, from that inverter and PMSM and then here we are going to consider 8 states right 8 uh, switching states uh, that mean it start from 0002 111 okay so initially the pulse will be is taken as 0000 okay that mean uh, the switching pulse for S1 to S6 going to be considered as 0 and then here we are going to calculate the cost function so based upon the switching um, pattern right so here we created eight switching pattern right so so each switching button we are going to take it from here and then based upon the switching pattern is csp and sc so we are going to calculate inverter voltage right so here we are calculating inverter voltage so from the inverter voltage we are going to calculate the vsq and vst that means we are applying that uh, transformation here and then based upon that VST, VSQ and VST you have to calculate the ID and the EQ. So this is a predicted the direct axis current and the quadrilateral axis current. So, so after calculating that ID and IQ and then you have to calculate the cost function for the, the dif different uh, switching states. Okay. So after calculating that uh, cost function for the 8 uh, switching states right. So you have to uh, short that cost function so short the cost function from minimum to maximum okay and then you have to find out the location so which location uh, that means for example 8 state right so in 8 state uh, that uh, cost function maybe go for a uh, minimum for any one of the state from uh, 1 to 8 right so you have to find out the, the which is state having minimum cost function right so here we are going to com uh, comparing that uh, Intax value which is equal to 1 
if the first index value which is equal to 1 means we are going to send the pulse here this kind of pulse here so based upon the index value right we are sending the pulse okay uh, that means which index value having the minimum uh, cost function so that corresponding pulse will be going to be uh, sent to that uh, uh, via the MB MBC controller okay so here we receive that uh, pulse based upon that cost function and also it going to be trigger this uh, uh, three phase inverter okay in order to control the PMSM so here we are measuring the pulse of the uh, pulse for that uh, three phase inverter and here we are measuring that uh, uh, three phase current that means voltage and current that means inverter voltage and current and then here we are measuring the speed that means here we are measuring that uh, actual speed and reference speed and here we are measuring the, the electromagnetic torque of the machine okay so here you can see that I created uh, uh, that reference speed command you can see that from 0 to 0 0.05 seconds right the speed will be start from uh, start increase from 0 to 120 and then from 0 0.05 to 0 0.1 it will be maintained at 120 after 0 0.1 to 0 0.15 seconds the speed will be decreased from 120 to 0 okay so based upon that it going to be uh, given the input for that uh, neural network okay so before that we need to train the neural network so for that we have the data so here you can see that so we have input output data so this input data for a neural network we collected and then this is a output data so collected for that neural network so this do data is going to be used for train the neural network so for that to train the neural network just to go to type and then start and then just use fitting app and click next and select the input and select the output and changing uh, changing to matrix rows and then click next and click next next and then train the model okay so train the model uh, up to you can see the r will equal to uh, nearer to one okay so you can train the model up to r equal to uh, that mean almost equal to one okay here also you can see that uh, number of iteration uh, performance and then gradient and then different values with a new so you can see that during training process of neural network okay so we need to try to optimize that means we need to reduce that performance like uh, mean squared error right so we need to reduce the mean squared error so that means uh, that a difference between our input output data and then the output from that neural network should be uh, have some minimum error so for that here we are consider mean squared error as the objective function we are going to minimize that mean squared error okay so here now you can see that the training process completed and then you can see that r value right so r value is almost equal to 1 and then you can see that mean squared error is almost uh, 0 right so you have 10 power minus 3 right so that means you later train to well with the, uh, our input output data okay so click next click next and then click zoom link diagram and then you can use this uh, neural network uh, for that particular zoom link model particular application okay so this this is where we are uh, training that neural network and then now we are going to test the model okay so for that i'm going to open the different scopes okay again you can see the different results the results here so here you can see that you can see the route of speed uh, reference and actual so you can see that yellow color known as uh, reference and uh, blue is uh, actual and then here you can see that this is the inverter output voltage this is the uh, stator current of the PMSM so this is the electromagnetic torque of the PMSM and then here you can see that the switching pulse okay so here you can see that uh, the reference speed is affected uh, tra uh, that mean tracked by the neural network and also you can see that the MBPC, MBC control model predictive control effectively control the 
the three phase voltage source in order in order to control the PMSM with the uh, for tracking the uh, reference speed comet accurately. So you can see that uh, it have less uh, that mean uh, during the change of um, speed right from uh, the speed change from 0 to 120 you can see that it uh, take, um, take maximum 15 amps only peak amps okay so there is no uh, that mean uh, major variation in the uh, stator current right so the system will be started very softly right so this is the working of uh, a neural network with the model productivity control of PMSM. So thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye.